Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, today I am unbagging a diamond painting from AliExpress. So this is it from AliExpress. Um, it's actually from a store called Kami Ye Good Store. Um, I'll put it in the description. This is the first time that I've had one from that store on AliExpress. So the first thing that I've noticed is the packaging is very different from anything else that I've had. It's basically an inflated bag um, and it is pretty firm. It feels as if uh, the contents have been well protected. You can see it's expandable here. So um, yeah, it feels good. Obviously not bashed or dented. It has been opened, uh, I can only assume that this was by Danish Customs. They've had a bit of a nosy inside to see what it is. But apart from that, uh, it looks fine. Um, this one comes with a little picture, so uh, you can remind yourself which one it is that you've ordered. Um, if you're anything like me, you've got a few on the way and uh, it's handy to be able to tell what's inside it before you actually open it, especially if you're doing unboxing and unbagging videos. So I ordered this on August the 19th and it arrived in Denmark on September the 15th. So just under a month, which is not too bad at all. And it is called Lovers in the Rain. So we'll open it up. Excuse the sirens. We live between two hospitals in Copenhagen. This is just uh, part of life, so it's nothing serious. Well, not for me anyway. So, I'll open this up. Not sure how well Mr. Customs Man has repacked it, but we'll find out. a cool idea to use this. Um, I've had some where it's been this sort of stuff that's clear and it's inside the box but I've never had it where there's no box. So we'll see how that works. <coughs> okay, the big reveal. So we'll see what we've got inside. So that's the canvas. Nothing else inside the packaging. So we'll go for the the contents first I think as usual. Maybe the other end. So goodie bag. And we've got the usual tray with the spout which I like because I use Tic Tac boxes and the usual rectangle of pink wax and two pens uh, and usually get two but so we have uh, two pens both with multiplacers two different sizes of multiplacer so I don't know why they didn't do just one pen and two multiplacers, but uh, comes in handy if you need to replace the tip of your pen. You can take them out of these if you've got a custom pen and you want to change the tip. You can use these as spares, so don't throw away uh, the pens. And we've also got some bags as well. So many we've got this time. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten bags. Uh, it sometimes varies. I've had as few as four, but we've got the full ten. So that's it as far as the goodies go. And now it's the drills. So as I said, I've never. This is a new store to me. I've used AliExpress before, but not this store. So, the noisy part. So, 
lots of colour in this one. Okay, that's done. So here we have the key. Just having a look, uh, it's pretty dark, you can see here. Got black on, very dark grey, very dark brown. And then we've got how many bags, somebody's checked it off, but always check it, uh, I'll double check it. And a small uh, thumbnail. So this is a 60 by 50. And we'll have a look at the drills. So these are square drills and pretty much standard uh, small bags again, really small bags. So we have, or I have, a lot of uh, bags to cut open. And uh, one of my pet hates, it doesn't tell me how many colours there are, so it means I'm going to have to actually count them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. Ooh, 51 colours, that's quite a lot. So I'm going to have to uh, sort all this out into the tic tac boxes. So that's a, a nice little job for me. Um, the drills actually look okay. Uh, again, they're, they're moving freely, they're not clumping together. So no oil in them, um, they look good, can't see any, uh, like sometimes you get them and they've got a lot of uh, bars on them, especially the squares, but they look clean, can't see anything wrong with them, Take another one at random, and yeah, they look fine. So I'll get the paper out of the way because I'm going to open this one up and reveal the glue and you do not want paper anywhere near it because if it touches it you're in trouble. So the canvas uh, pretty loosely wrapped I have to say, it's not as tight as I'm used to, kind of creased. just going to fit in the table. So we'll, uh, we'll try flattening this. It's got more creases in it than I would normally expect. It's not been rolled up very well. But um, because it isn't clear, a clear cover, it'll be double sided glue so it's not poured glue. So I'm going to remove the cover to flatten it a bit and I'm making sure that I don't pick up the glue. Uh, I always talk about this when I'm, when I'm doing this. What I'm doing there is I'm peeling back the cover but making sure I don't catch the glue because um, try and get a bit closer. the glue goes past the edge of the picture and when you're picking this corner up it's very easy to catch the, the sheet of double uh, sided glue and when you peel it back you pull uh, the glue off the canvas. If you do that and don't notice and pull back quite far the glue is going to uh, fall back and stick to itself and it's virtually impossible to fix. So always when you're taking the corners up be very very careful just take your time 
for the extra few seconds it takes um, it's going to save you a lot of grief so of course I cut my nails yesterday so I hadn't thought this one through but so there what I do is I peel it back a bit and I put my finger on the back side of the cover and if it doesn't stick like it isn't um, it means it's fine the glue is still on the canvas it's not on the back of the cover so then what I do is I've, I've done both corners there peel along get the whole thing loose at the top or in this case at the side hold that down and then pull the cover back so peel this back until I'm just past halfway so I'm trying to guess where halfway is but as long as I'm past halfway so that's well past halfway and then turn it around and you can see how it's even though it wasn't rolled very well it's still trying to curl up and that's why I'm doing this to flatten the, the canvas so again go to the corner very carefully pick it up make sure so just touch the back not sticking that's good do the same on the opposite side again not sticky so we're okay you only have to worry about that the very first time that you lift the backing off eh not the backing if you lift the cover off once you've done it the first time it's fine it won't come up so I'm just working my way along until I get us all the way across Pull the canvas and start to pull the cover back and what happens is it feels quite tight once I get past where I got to from the other side it will go loose it's really noticeable there so suddenly it's like really really loose so that's it and then just put it back down and that's the canvas as flat as it's going to be if it had been rolled properly uh, I wouldn't have these waves but it's easy enough to fix that what I use is I've got um, two large sheets of card like cardboard and uh, I basically put this in between them and sandwich it and I've got a tape one end so it's like a huge book made of cardboard and uh, I tape one side and then I lift it up put this in put it back put the lid back down or the top back down then I've got another one exactly the same that I've got um, ones that I've done uh, so they've got a bit of weight in them and I set that on top of the, the one I've got the to be done and done so the to be done's uh, are at the bottom and the ones that are done are at the top and I sit on top and the weight of that is enough um, to flatten them out so the, the two B duns I think I've already got about five in that folder so this will go in there to get flattened but I want to take it back off again because I want to have a look at the print I did notice a near bubble so we'll see how bad it is. It must be on the other side, but I'll switch the light on. So you can see the reflection. But it helps if you're looking for bubbles. And if you just look at one angle, you can miss them. It could be the angle you're looking at. Um, you don't see the bubbles. But I'm sure I saw something even without the light there's a few ripples here but they're not that bad actually so I'm thinking it must have been the other side I 
No, so it's not that bad. I think it was this piece here that I saw, uh, just there, uh, there, getting camera man. Um, don't know how well you can see. It's not bad though. I mean, I've had a lot worse than this. So the main thing really is to get it flat, and it will flatten. It won't be a problem. Uh, canvas is very, very thin. Very thin. Very, uh, you probably hear that, very rough. And uh, got a little bit of whatever was printed beside it. So, overall, it looks okay though. Um, it is pretty dark, but I use a light pad. So I don't think I'm going to have any problems. I hope I'm not going to have any problems. But get a close up. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Some new symbols there. I've never seen that symbol. But um, yeah, it's it's light quite thin backing but it feels uh, sturdy enough you can see it's it's flexible just a bit different I haven't had a, a canvas that felt like this one but not bad I wouldn't say it was bad so a lot of confetti in this one 51 colors that's going to be fun and the keys, uh, I was going to say it's fine, uh, as to a certain point when you get to the dark colours, um, it isn't so easy. Get the light over there. <coughs> uh, these ones here are very, very dark, but the light pad underneath that uh, will help show them. The rest are fine. They're clear enough. Uh, it's just, yeah, very, very dark brown and black, and very, very dark grey and black aren't a good combination. Uh, at times, you think people don't think these things through. It's like having sevens and capital L's beside each other, or capital B's and eights. And you have. The thumbnail. So, yeah, not too bad. Um, the key could be a bit clearer. Apart from that, I think it's fine. Just needs uh, a bit of weight on it to flatten it, and uh, it should be okay. So that was uh, lovers in the rain. Uh, from AliExpress and the store name I have to check it again because as I said it was a new one to me it's Kami E Good and I'll have the name in the description because I'm probably saying it wrong so um, overall I would say it's fine um, a bit wavy uh, if it had been rolled better it would have been nicer canvas is a bit thin a um, bit more plasticky feeling uh, main problem could be the key. Uh, it's very the dark colours in black do not go well. If you have a light pad, I'm sure it won't be a problem at all. If you don't, it's uh, very difficult, especially the dark grey. Um, I had to have a really good look there to see what the symbol was meant to be. The the actual printed key is worse than the key on the canvas. So if you don't have a light pad, um, you could struggle a bit. Um, light pad should make it easy. Uh, shouldn't be any problem at all. But I will report back if I'm having problems with it, just uh, so people are aware. So that's it. Um, 51 colours. Uh, we're getting up there. Not the most I've had uh, 
the record for me so far is 8 to 8. Um, I think normally you tend to be in the 30s to 40s would be a sort of uh, usual count. But uh, this one's got a bit more than that. So it's going to be fun. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any major problems. Very, very small air bubbles in it. But um, again, nothing really to worry about. Easy, easy fix. So uh, that's it for this one. And uh, I'm going to be back again today. I'm going to do one right now. And it will be another unboxing. Well, not an unbagging, an unboxing this time. Uh, from a company that a lot of people know very well. So in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.